Did you know the Quran revealed that iron came from outer space 1400 years before science proved it? In chapter 57, verse 25, the Quran uses the Arabic word anzalna, meaning sent down from above, specifically for iron. Every other metal is described as being extracted from earth, but iron is uniquely sent down. For centuries, this seemed meaningless to readers. Why would iron come from above? Then nuclear physics gave us the answer. Iron cannot form on Earth at all. It requires the extreme temperatures inside dying stars, a process called stellar nucleosynthesis. When these massive stars explode, they scatter iron across the universe through meteorites. Here's the mind-blowing part. The chapter number is 57. Iron's exact atomic number. The verse number is 25 matching iron's atomic mass. This astronomical knowledge wasn't discovered until the 1950s. How could an illiterate 7th century man know that iron forms in stellar cores? The precision is undeniable. Every detail perfectly aligns with modern astrophysics. 